Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Jasmine. And welcome, welcome to, to Hidden Acres Homestead. Homestead. Um, behind us, you'll see our cows are just having a little treat. We're just giving them a bit of molasses. Now, this breed of cattle are uh, low-line Angus. So, you can see there's a couple of cows here. The bull's just standing in the gateway over behind us. That's Lockie. That's our registered low-line Angus bull. Okay, we've got some calves hiding in the corner. There. Here's Lockie coming in for his bit of molasses now. So they like their little treats. Um, in the tubs there, you'll see that we've got some minerals for them with our high rainfall up here. It's something that we were recommended to do. Um, so when we get back to the car, I'll show you the labels on them. Basically, one's a magnesium one and there's a phosphorus one. Um, both supposed to be real good for the cattle. So, um, yeah, what, let them enjoy their treat. We'll go show you the calves. Okay, so with our low lines, we actually ended up with five calves this year. So you can see that was the one and only bully calf behind us there. And we had four heifers. Now, unfortunately, a little mishap, we lost one of those heifers. She got stuck and um, we weren't here to help her out. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this next year's crop of uh, calves and see what we get this time. These low lines are great. They're friendly, love to come in for a scratch. Not all of them, of course, because everyone's got their own personality. But some of them love to come in for their scratch and a pat. Yeah. This is one of our new little calves that we have. We have four of them this year. They love checking us out to see if we've got some food for them. So that's what this one's checking for right now, to see if I've got some bread or snacks or minerals or whether I'm going to give it a big pat. So... You can see they're really friendly. They're super sweet animals. They don't mind human interaction. We can walk around them safely. They're a great uh, placid breed. Uh, you can see our Brahmins just there. Um, you've got Heath is the, the kind of greyish coloured one with the horns. And then Dean's is the one at the back, um, which is the white one. So the one at the back is called Dollar and the grey one is called Bonnie. And then in front of them is our low-line Angus bull, and his name is Lockie. Come on! Come on! You might be wondering how we get our cows to go where Come we want on! them to go. Well, it all starts with training. Come on! We give them a cue, and the cue is calling out, Come on! Come on! Which lets them know that they're Come required. On! Come on! We use this method all the time, and it's super Come effective. On! They've learnt that when they hear us calling, come on, it usually involves a treat. So they're quite keen to follow. The treat may be leftover food, minerals, molasses, or even just a good scratch. We call them in for a head count to make sure no one's missing, for health checks, and to get them used to going through the race. We get them to go through the race for things like giving them medicine. Come on! like the injectables that we use uh, for worm and tick control. Traditionally, Kevin will call, come on, come on, from the vehicle that he's in, or whether he's just walking around. He'll do that at full volume so that the cows can hear him uh, pretty much from wherever they are. And they know that they need to come to wherever the person is. So that may be just in the middle of a paddock, or it may be over in the yards, or up to a fence line, you gotta keep whatever. Going. They know to make their way that way. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. You're all good girls, aren't you? Yeah, you're good girls. Good girls. Come on, come on.
So this is part of our yards where we bring our cattle in. You can see the buckets there where they have their minerals. Um, the, the Brahmins have always been quite flighty. They're a lot calmer than what they were when we first got them about two years ago. But uh, it's still difficult to get them into the yards. They're so strong-headed and defiant and um, they're definitely not friendly like the, um, the Angus. They're always keeping their distance. As you can see, we're trying to bring in the um, calves right now. And we've got Kevin here giving the cows some molasses. That's um, one of their favourite treats. All right, so you would have seen a couple of white cattle running with the mob. Um, one of those belongs to our older son, Dean, the more white one. The one that's sort of more grey speckle and got the horns, that belongs to our younger son, Heath. Um, we're hoping that both of those are in calf to our low line bull and they can actually get a calf each. So yeah, we thought it was a good little investment for them after we bought the property that they could save up their money and um, we went to the Serena cattle auction. There's a video that has that in the playlist if you want to go back and watch it. Um, yeah, if you want to go back and have a look, it'll actually be on the Down Under Brothers, which is our kids YouTube channel. You'll be able to watch where they uh, bought them and told you all about them on, on that. Okay, so you can see these are both Megamin products. This one's the uh, Fos 8, which is 8% phosphorus. So you have high phosphorus, calcium, minerals, and trace elements. Over here, you have the magnesium, which is a 9.7 magnesium. Your minerals and your tra trace elements. So um, this one's real good when you get a um, green flush. So like at the moment, we're getting our, our, our rains. So you're getting the green flush. That helps them not to get a bit sick in the tummy. So when we first started doing these minerals, um, one of these bags, literally our cows would eat it overnight. So we, we figured the cows are telling us what they're deficient in. And um, it was obviously a lot of magnesium. So since we've had them on that, they've really slowed down. So we're guessing they're building up their, their stocks of magnesium. But um, we still like to give it to them every now and then for a, for a bit of a treat and top up. Thanks guys for joining us for a sneak peek at our cattle. Hopefully we can uh, get the numbers up, get, get some fences done so we can boost those numbers. Thanks for dropping by again. And if you like this sort of content, click the subscribe button and like this video. Thanks and best, guys. best of all, you can share it on your social media to help our channel get out there so people can find out about us. All right, see ya. Bye.